Hi, my name is Lindsay Crochu. I'm from the Pakani Nation. I'm a family doctor and the assistant dean at the Cummings School of Medicine. And I'm here to share with you some information about a, a, an exciting new initiative that we have at the medical school in the, uh, in the, in the um, endeavor to, um, to facilitate um, better health outcomes with Indigenous peoples and great relationships and, and enhance capacity of our school to do, um, do better work uh, with and for us as Indigenous peoples. We uh, see the need to have representation within our school. Um, we see that art is a big aspect of this. And so this uh, initiative that we'll share with you is about building um, a mural in, a, in, a, in a, an amazing space that will, um, that will attract much attention and, and create uh, many opportunities for engagement with Indigenous peoples and ideas. I'd like to hand it over to uh, Aleem Barwani to, uh, to introduce himself and to um, share more. To start, we are on the traditional territories of the people of Treaty 7 region in southern Alberta, which includes the Blackfoot Confederacy, comprising the Siksika, Pekani, and Kainai First Nations, the Tsutina First Nation, and the Stony Nakoda, including the Chiniki, Bears Pop, and Wesley First Nations. The city of Calgary is also home to Métis Nation Alberta Region 3. Uh, I'm Aline Barwani. I'm a physician. I work um, uh, as Director of Public Policy and Partnerships in the O'Brien Institute for Public Health and in the Indigenous Local Global Health Office. Uh, I, I think th this project is really important because art tells us who we are, where we have been, and where we might go. Art catalyzes discussions and shapes conversations. And we host art, but it's art that hosts differences, that shapes our lives. When art is exclusionary, only represents certain contexts, we ignore important histories and perspectives. And art doesn't just tell us, um, doesn't just doesn't tell me who I am, but art tells us who we are, sometimes highlighting also how we can do better. Art inspires us to think and feel in new ways. Art helps they become we. And this piece that we're talking about is going to be in a most iconic space in our faculty, in a high traffic area um, to demonstrate Indigenous perspectives on health, inclusion, wellness, and truth and reconciliation. Through this piece, we want to achieve three key goals. That Indigenous students, staff, and faculty should feel at home. This piece should convey Indigenous prominence, presence, and permanence. Settler students should feel inspired to take inspiration from Indigenous ways of knowing and being, to acknowledge diverse perspectives on inclusion and health, to respect and value these differences. And all faculty, staff, and students should be reminded about truth and reconciliation. We wish for every generation of health science students when they remember their time here to remember this mural. And we want them to remember how it made them feel, how it made them think, and how it made them have hard but safe conversations. Now I'd like to introduce uh, Don, our brilliant curator and administrator. <laughs> Thanks so much, Aleem. Ombawa uh, Stitch, Oki, Danatara, Tansi, hello. Bozu to everyone here. Uh, thank you so much for joining us and thank you for the lovely welcome, uh, Lindsay, and the great introduction to why this project started, Aleem. Um, I'm inspired by everyone's words and, and that's why I've been involved in this project because I feel it's a important opportunity for Indigenous artists to be showcased in this time of truth and reconciliation in a very positive action-oriented way and having a mural in this important facility will certainly help foster new and important relationships as we move together forward. So we have two calls. Uh, I should start also, my name is Don saunders Dahl. I am of Métis ancestry, and I am an arts administrator that has been working with uh, many Indigenous arts groups uh, throughout Alberta, creating new uh, opportunities and, and um, calls for artists to, to showcase their art and mentorship opportunities. So there are two calls out for this opportunity. One is for a mentor. The mentor call um, includes, it'll be a $10,000 fee for a mentor. Um, it plus per diem travel and accommodation on top of the $10,000 fee. And supplies and the installation of the mural will be provided. We are looking for a mentor who resides uh, anywhere in Western Canada to lead this project. 
this uh, mentor will work with myself and up to three mentees from Treaty 7 to create this work and we will also consult with the local Indigenous communities for the content of the mural. The mentor will provide uh, guidance to the mentees and uh, that includes uh, the content, the ideas, the, den the, the design, the skill skills that are required to paint uh, the murals, as well as pass on any sort of fabricator, installation, budgets, timelines, those kinds of experiences onto the mentees. In order to apply to this call, the mentor uh, should uh, provide an uh, artist CV or resume at three pages, a one page maximum expression of interest, talking about your style, uh, your communication, your community engagement experience, your mentorship experience, and why you'd like to work on this project and what previous works um, you've made that could be related to this project. We'd also like to see 10 images of your past work and provide two references. If you could provide that information by the deadline of October 4th, that would be great. The second call is for mentees. Now this is open to youth artists in the Treaty 7 area. The supplies and installation will be provided. There's a $2,500 artist fee for each mentee provided as well as on top of that per diem travel and accommodation, if required. The mentee uh, will learn all of, all of that information that I explained with the mentor, fabricator installation knowledge, learn about budgets, timelines and reporting, and as well as gain it, some art making skills and learn about how to translate your idea from your mind to paper and then onto a larger scale. If you're interested in that, you, we would ask that you also provide an artist CV and a maximum one page expression of interest talking about your art making practice and why you'd like to be mentored. We'd love to also see your images up to 10 if you could include those in your application, as well as two references. That deadline is also October 4th. We'd love to see your applications and uh, please let us know if you have any questions. Great, thank you, Don, Drs. Kroshu and Barwani. I'd just like to say if anybody who is listening um, and watching, if they have any specific questions, please reach out to Don saunders Dahl at indigenouspublicart at gmail.com as well, if you would like to review the calls for mentors and mentees and details about the project, you can visit um, coming.ucalgary.ca backslash community, and you will find the Indigenous Local and Global Health Office website where the project is listed. We'll make sure that all this information is available uh, to you. Yeah.